Welcome, Welcome to, to the Break, Break Room podcast. podcast. We are having a bad day. It's on. It's <laughs> awful. It's not. <laughs> I'm honestly so over it. Wait, should I do a little reveal? I think you know how you had your self tanner re- reveal in the last What's episode with, us with hands. I don't know. <laughs> I'll get into that in a second. But <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> She's cute. What happened? She lost a finger. <laughs> Amputee. I am starting to believe that anyone that is friends with you loses a finger. <laughs> and I don't know if I should turn back now <laughs> for my own safety. <laughs> Any best friend of mine has lost at least I'm one finger. Scared. Finger. Yeah. Well, we talked about this on the last one, but it was when the, the mic died. So... We, the whole part was cut out about nine and a half. Oh my, wait, that's right. <laughs> Maybe well, we should retouch. Yes. So Deanna has a friend. Well, you explain it. So this is your story. <laughs> I was friends with this girl. She was like my best friend for several years. Um, and we like had a falling out. We stopped being friends, whatever. Not the, the, not the plot. We stopped being friends and her dog bites off her finger. Mm-hmm. So, um, she gave me permission to call her nine and a half on the podcast, but now Maggie's in the same predicament. Nine and a half. (laughs) So how did this happen to you? Um, I was working out, trying to better myself. (laughs) Trying to get around the corner. I'm trying to get juicy, voluptuous in my derriere. (laughs) And yeah, we were in like a push up position going on a bench and then going to the floor. Mm. I'm uncoordinated, so clearly I did not know how to do that. Yeah. Landed on my hand wrong, saw it bend the way it shouldn't bend. I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. I think I let out a little fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing the music was loud. Yeah. And then after that, I keep going because I want that ass. That's my favorite part of the story is that like you just didn't speak up oh, and no. continue to work out. I, re- I had like 20 minutes left and I said, I got it. <laughs> I'm doing this. 20 thing. minutes, say less. That's honestly probably what did it. <laughs> I I think that might have been. Yeah. You, and did you keep working with the wrist or the thumb? Yeah. I really did. <laughs> <laughs> I even offered to, because it was, you know, where we work. So yeah. I offered, you know, they were nice enough to let me work out during my shift. Do you want me to take out some trash <laughs> with one so less not, of a finger? I can clean up. I can clean up. Maybe pick up my finger along the way, you know? <laughs> it's Either like, one. It's like underneath the machine. Yep. And I'm like, oops, sorry, drop my finger. <laughs> that was your sign, like, oh, I shouldn't have worked out on the clock. Yeah, that never again. I truly don't think that's ever in my future. <laughs> no. But oh my God. I drove all around town trying to figure out what's wrong with my finger. I thought you were kidding because we were going to film yesterday. Mm-hmm. That's and then right. You, you text me. You're like, just finished the workout. Like, think I dislocated my hand, whatever. Mm-hmm. And I just took it as like sarcasm. Like, oh, such a tough workout. Yeah. Like, I'm literally dislocated. Yeah. Like, that's something that we would say. Right. I'm like, LOL, make it like good mm-hmm. content for the podcast. Yep. And then you like kept talking about it. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, she's serious. <laughs> I was a little delusional. I did not want to believe it. And she's me continuing amputee. the workout. I said, there's no way. I get home. My hand is swollen. When I tell you she's fat. Again, my ass isn't fat. My hand is fat. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. She's not broken. She sprained. Didn't even know you could sprain a thumb. A but, singular thumb. Like, that's yeah. really crazy. Like, you must have put a lot into that, like, hand placement to I sprain one singular finger. I really don't know. Again, it was my body weight. Clearly, my body weight is just a little bit too much. Because <laughs> <laughs> my she finger... crushed the thumb. I, I crushed my finger. Okay. But, I can just picture it. <laughs> It, a little traumatic, to say the least. It, I mean, it sounds... It, were, were you, like, like feet on the top of, like, a bench, hands on the ground? My was feet that were on the ground, but my hands were on the bench. Oh, and then I reverse. had to go from the bench to the ground. Like, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Sounds like you would dislocate <laughs> Just thinking about it, there goes my other finger. <laughs> Eight and a half. Yep, there we go. One by one. This is why we can't be friends. I'm going to lose everything. <laughs> This is my sign. I, I haven't lost a finger yet. Knock on wood. There's no wood. <laughs> That's so. what happened to me yesterday. I was talking about it. I was like, yeah, I've never broken anything. Knock on wood. There was no wood. I would watch out if I were you. <laughs> I wouldn't take that lightly. There's seriously no wood. There's no No. Nope. I don't know what to do. <laughs> You're done. I can't wait for your text tomorrow. <laughs> when I'm working. <laughs> yeah. 
I will not be working out. Oh, no, don't do that. I will not that. be participating don't. in those events. No. Nope. If you see you have to put your hands on a bench, don't. <laughs> you turn around. <laughs> That's actually insane. Yeah. I've never broken anything either, but when I was when I was younger, I used to like swing on the two. Like my, my couches were set mm-hmm. up like directly next to each other with like an mm-hmm. opening between them. And I would like put my hands on the two arms mm-hmm. and swing. And I like face planted eight shit. Oh. Yeah. Incredibly just so much blood mm. from the nose it was Ooh. it was rough um so we like thought i broke it didn't go yeah. to a hospital no mm. we went to urgent care and right they were like yeah no you're fine um mm. and then i have like this like swollen bump i have makeup on but there's like oh, always okay. been a swollen bump right here on my nose on mm-hmm. the bridge and it's like always a little bit blue and it just never got fixed. Wait, you can probably get, like, a free nose job. Well, I, I've been saying that for a long time. And then I thought I had a deviated septum for a while, which you can yeah. also get a free nose job. Right. And I was like, wait, dang. Now, I don't know if either of those things are true. If I just, like, have a permanently <laughs> broken nose or a deviated septum, I just, like... I feel like that has to qualify for a free nose job. Yeah. Well, also, my nose got really big from it. Mm. And I had, like, a big honker for, like, my oh. <laughs> Accutane shrunk it, but okay. But other than that, yeah, like that's the only thing that I've ever broken. Oh yeah, I never say never. <laughs> Clearly, spraining a thumb is like such a specific detail. And uh, like, I'm just like, of course it had to be a thumb. You know, it could have been like my pinky. You know, like a useless finger that I don't yeah. need. And I'm a righty, so yeah, my right thumb. So I've been walking around <laughs> barely, <laughs> barely. I'm getting aggravated, yeah. short temper, because I just can't do anything for myself. Yeah. I tried to take out my cash earlier to pay the woman, because, oh, by the way, we got our lashes done. Oh, yeah, I was going to touch base on that after oh, this. Oh, gosh, yes, we definitely will. But when I was trying to pay, I um, almost dropped everything. <laughs> Coins so almost sad. went on the floor. I probably wouldn't have been able to pick them up. I, I've never realized how important the thumb actually is. She really makes a difference, and then randomly it'll, like, twitch. <laughs> I bumped it earlier against my boob. I was like, Fuck. <laughs> I don't even have big boobs, and somehow just my boobs. Somehow really, it was in the way. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> it really done did it again. All that juice is going elsewhere. It's, <laughs> I'm pissed. So um, yeah, that was my day yesterday. So we couldn't film. Yeah, no, it didn't happen. But we're here now, and it was also a little bit traumatic today. It was pouring rain earlier. Like a rainstorm. Like there was alerts going out. Like heavy rains. Please proceed with caution. Floods everywhere. But we still went to go get our lashes done. We were like, yeah. And (laughs) the appointment was also 40 minutes away where the rain was worse. Yeah. So instead of being like, you know, maybe we shouldn't do this. No, we did. No, we did. It was really good. I watched an accident happen. Oh. On the way home? Yep. I was the person right in front of the scene like I was the next person in the accident if I were yeah basically I was like on the way home (laughs) apparently (laughs) miracles from heaven oh my gosh I was driving and I was hydroplaning really bad like my car was like she wasn't really doing it Mm -hmm. and there was like a group of cars driving in front of me on the highway there's four lanes Mm -hmm. and I watched this guy hydroplane and like shifts into the other lane a little bit and you could tell he has no control over the vehicle slams into someone both cars go spinning Other car spinning hits another car. Semi truck starts coming. Now keep in mind, I am directly in front of them. Like I'm watching it. I was I had front row seats, so I just break Mm -hmm. on the highway. I'm like, oh, yikes! Now like these cars are taking up all three lanes. There's like bumpers flying in the air, and the semi truck like he can't slow down. Right, he's going head on into Mm -hmm. this situation. He swerves no. off of all three lanes, like into like the brush of like where you would get pulled over. Yeah. And just zooms past them. I was like, all right, good save. Oh my God. Yeah. It was insane though, because then everyone on the highway just like stopped oh. and just like slowly started moving to like one side. Because <laughs> we were all like, um, no. Yeah. <laughs> you could just like, uh. yeah. The silence was loud. Oh, the wow. two guys just got out of the car and like looked at each other, started picking up like debris off the highway. <laughs> Clean up. I was like, all right, at least they're like cool about it. Yeah. I don't know. They were like kind of like bonding. I was there for a long time because it had just like occurred in front of me and everyone was shifting into one singular lane on the end. And I was right there. So I was like, I had the blinker on, but like Mm -hmm. no one was letting me in. So I just watched them like go through their whole ordeal. Hmm. Yeah. That's. It was scary. I saw a Tesla go flying. (gasps) No. Well, I was way farther back, but I watched a hydroplane and then it was like just chilling like in the brush with hazards on and I was like oh good you know and I kept hydroplaning anything for anything lash. for lash I, we did that and now let's go up close. oh yeah up close and personal I don't know if you can really see on the camera to be honest I hope my 
Hat's like blocking <laughs> We got them done by my friend Becky. She smashed it and also she's very sweet and love her. We love her. She I did will, so good. We should put her like little handle yeah. somewhere on the screen. I actually cut my hand out. <laughs> <laughs> or lack no. thereof. <laughs> yeah. Just, Mummy moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's okay <laughs> but yeah she was great and then we've been getting we've been like in our era of like modifying ourselves <laughs> i was Truly. just about to say last episode we're like oh we're gonna be juiced up yeah it's That's gonna be pending. a whole thing and now mm-hmm. it's like lashes lips the coming pain. soon maybe the pain changes you <laughs> <laughs> i've been saying that it's like i don't know <laughs> episode one is out not even 300 views yep. it's like we're really it's hard it's really hard <laughs> but we were just saying how i honestly respect influencers it's <laughs> oh when they say they get tired of filming oh i gotta film today we've A, done one episode, episode one and oh that was me today we're spent <laughs> truly i feel like sometimes because of everything <laughs> that happens before we film i we, oh i gotta film we have like bad luck that's what i'm saying like are we gonna be here the next episode who knows i don't know well actually (laughs) episode one i won the lottery so maybe are we gonna be in one piece (laughs) everybody lost a little bit of a piece i don't know (laughs) every episode is something different (laughs) it's content (laughs) but you know oh my gosh wait speaking of content (laughs) my pictures (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> in the emergency room the <laughs> insert them <laughs> i was literally dying the one outside and you're just like mm. <laughs> what are you gonna do another day in the office <laughs> do you know that video of michaela i don't know her last name but she like has the boston accent the like beauty oh my influencer. gosh try yes. being an influencer uh, for a day <laughs> yep i us. get it <laughs> us it's- everyone Hated on her for that. She's like, I just stopped working. It's 5 p.m. Mm-hmm. I get it. Mm-hmm. But we were just saying, like, maybe makes sense. I feel it, but maybe because we also work. <laughs> yeah, we, we work also work, jobs. and we're full time students. <laughs> full time students. It's so. I guess this try being an influencer for a day. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna recreate that accent. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I don't know. If I, I, I think I have a lot more potential to do more, but I just I don't want to like disrespect her either. No, yeah, I watch her. <laughs> Not gonna. Oh my gosh! No, again, I've been doing the Hello Traveler from Trisha Paytas all week. I literally <laughs> that was the funniest. Thing. I I immediately Hello Traveler and I like Traveler and immediately sent it to you. I love her. I love. I want to be her. I I don't know what have you just like seen the growth that she's had though like now like with her whole family and the everything mom life was for her absolutely and mm-hmm. I, I just love seeing her as a mom seriously she is she's and calm. Moses he literally made a drive through yes. in their house yes. <laughs> so she can film yes if that's not love I don't know what it is and like it's so funny because she'll dress up as like so many people but like I want to dress up as her me too. I want to be her I love Trisha her. Paytas for Halloween, maybe. Yeah. Oh. We should just be different podcast people for Halloween. Oh my gosh. Just like wait. every single <laughs> person. Just Trish. Every like couple of minutes we change. <laughs> just Trish. Okay, costume change canceled. Yep. Okay, costume change. Call her daddy. Okay. <laughs> like what no can we do? That. That's our idea. We said it first. We, guys, be break room podcast for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how anybody would actually achieve, achieve dressing up as us for Halloween. <laughs> I it would be a plain plain skims dupe. Yep. Uggs. Wearing it at the mo- wait, are you wearing your Yeah. This is from Walmart. <gasps> oh my gosh. It was eight dollars. <gasps> skims dupe. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Mine's from Amazon. I was saying my whole outfit. I was saying this earlier at the appointment. I was like, Yeah, my whole outfit's from Amazon. Like if it weren't for Amazon, I'd be completely naked. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Like Amazon, I, she just does it. She really Oh my gosh, I didn't even tell you what no, I did tell you, but I said again. Yeah, when I got home, another thing, someone like stole my pa- my package. That's crazy. Yeah, they said what, what, what they signed the off of it. it. Nothing important. Oh, okay. I no, it's not that exciting. But someone oh. stole it and I'm kind of offended. That's like the, crazy. And they signed off of it. I'm like, so you had to chase down this Amazon man and say, Yeah, that's for me. And then go. <laughs> Chasing mind, after the Amazon worker. <laughs> it's I my front door is like you need a key to get in. You can't just get in. Yeah. So, yeah, someone said, that's me. Signed it off. M.A. Could you just, like, imagine, like, sprinting down the hallway being like, wait, wait, my package. Like, being that like, that needy. Well, apparently M.A. was because they <laughs> stole M-A. it. M.A.? Yeah. 
<laughs> Couldn't even Are we gonna spell be like, MT. <laughs> <laughs> MT. No, wait, you're right. Mm-hmm. Try they were me. really close. Yep. The fans. The fans. Yeah, the fans. <laughs> the fans stole my package. <laughs> Makes me wonder. Get back. <laughs> if we did have fans, what would that be like? I don't know. Like, would I be able to go out? <laughs> be like, guys, please. No paparazzi, but like, kind of yes. <laughs> no, yeah. I want, I want that. I feel like I would have the worst pa- paparazzi picture. <laughs> like, I don't look good off guard. That's for sure. Like Fupa would be out. <laughs> like, I'd be like mid blank. Like, uh. no, but I feel like if I was approached in public, like uh-huh. on my day to day, like yeah. I would be like head to toe in like my jersey shorts, sweatpants with stains all over them, and like. Yep. Just a ratchet hoodie, hair undone, like, Mm -hmm. and then people be like, oh my God, can I get a picture with you? Like, I feel like I would have to look presentable all the time if I actually had like a following. And that's like a lot of work. It is. I can't do that. So if you, um, if you guys see us looking a little ratchet, mind your business. Maybe we should start looking ratchet on purpose. So that way no one can be surprised when we get caught. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Cause sometimes I just can't do it. Really Sometimes can't. me looking ratchet is the best it's going to get that day. You know what? Yeah. That was me earlier today. I can't, <laughs> I can't do my own hair right now. The hat, hence the hat. Yeah. It's, it's giving Zoll Surfer a little it, bit. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit. I was going to try to do a slick back. <laughs> How? I don't, I don't really think you How? really could do that. No. Well, yesterday I washed my hair and then I was like trying to do it it wasn't working mm-hmm. i tried everything to the point that i was probably burning off my hair i was mm-hmm. like oh my god i straightened it i curled it i blew it out i crimped mm-hmm. it i did everything possible and everything looked so bad and it just kept getting worse i just looked it back i was like i don't care that i washed it today it's not hair wash day but it's fine and i, I slick it back then the second that the hairspray touched my mm-hmm. hair follicles you texted me that your thumb was dislocated and broken <gasps> and i was like fuck I did that for nothing. <laughs> Fuck you. Put that thumb back in, bitch. <laughs> Relocate. <laughs> Relocate it. I did a slick back for what? <laughs> so I ended up showering again because I was going to sleep in it. Yeah. I was like, it's, it's r- like raining all day. I might as well sleep in this hairspray gelled out back bitch and mm-hmm. just like call it a day. Wake up tomorrow, like crank that shit back once more and go mm-hmm. with go with it. Yeah. And then I was like, Ugh, do I want to lay in bed with gel and hairspray slicked mm. upon my All over your pillow. Yeah, no. And no. you break out. You so wake I, up with like a monster pimple on your chin. Joe manifest that. And, oh, sorry. <laughs> There's no wood though. <laughs> no wood. That, that's what's happening to you now. Yeah, so I washed it again. Mm-hmm. And then redid it this morning. Mm-hmm. And when I tell you everything was going wrong and like now I went outside, it was raining. I, I, this is what we're working with and I look like Lord Farquaad and that's fine. Okay. I think you look like a beautiful oh, Lord Farquaad. Thank you. Mm-hmm. In his blonde era. Yeah. <laughs> which I've also... Bleach and tone. Bleach and tone. Which Lord is... Farquaad in his bleach and tone era. <laughs> <laughs> I've been having this crisis with my hair, though. Yeah. I just, like, just kind of made out mic. with the mic a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I was feeling the vibe. <laughs> but, like, it's I've like, just been I... having this... Stu- <laughs> <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Lunchtime. <laughs> Want a little snack? I felt hungry. <laughs> but I was having this dilemma with my hair. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, right now I'm at the process of getting like super platinum blonde, but it's like, it's like a little yellow. Mm-hmm. Like a little bit. I have every shampoo and conditioner that can make you blonde that you could possibly get on the market. Like I use it all. I use like three in mm-hmm. one. Not not three one. Like like, like the men's. <laughs> I was going to say, that's the best? No. I use, I use like three separate yeah. like shampoos and like conditioner because I want her to be blonde. Like yeah. it's all purple. Everything's purple and blue. Like mm-hmm. we're getting there. But it just doesn't seem to like want that for me. You know, I feel like this is, and we've only known each other since... Like a couple months ago. Yeah. But I feel like your hair reverts back. It to does. Yellow, no matter like what you do to it. Yes. Like it seems like your hair just doesn't want it. And I was talking to my mom about this today. I was like, I just think my hair does not want to be that it blonde. It just does not want to be in that She's era. not feeling it. No. Like she's like, like girl, stop. let me rest. She's like, literally stop it. Yeah. She's like, stop the bleach and tone, mm-hmm. please. And I don't know what to do about it because I went brown mm-hmm. one time and... I didn't hate it, but I also like wanted to die at that time. Mm-hmm. So I was like, uh, right. I don't really, I went blonde. <laughs> yeah. See, <laughs> I was a bleach blonde. Wait, interpix. Uh, yeah. Interpix. <laughs> I don't really have, I don't have like too much to go off of with the brown era because I mm-hmm. was miserable and like everything, like I never styled it. I just like threw it back and was like, I, I hate this. Right. And 
I, I don't think it looked bad at all, mm -hmm. but I'm like in the process where I think like this part of my hair is like, I either have to be like super bl like white hair or like brown. Mm -hmm. And now I'm like, I've been trying to get this process for a long time. Like, do I... And you also don't want to damage your hair. I know, because I think Cause if the blonder I go, it's going to get worse. And you do have, like, curls. So yeah. those are going to... I fried mine off when I went. It's my problem. Mm -hmm. Guys, everybody comment if you think I would look good with brown hair. Or what we think the vibes are. We'd match. What if I had, like, a little like a little brown French bob? For like, some reason, when you went like this, I thought you meant, like, brown tips. Oh, <laughs> oh no. My God. No, no, no. I was going to be like, um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Immediately no. But you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like the little, like, Italian girl yes. summer with the, sh like, the my chin sh hair length is. hair brown. Yeah. Like. My favorite hair that I've ever had is my, like, brown bob. It was a moment. It was fun. It was cute. I'm honestly having a really bad dilemma over it. I think it would suit you. Hmm. But I also don't want you to get upset. <laughs> yeah. You know? Well, my favorite hair era that I had other than being blonde was when I went brown and then it started fading mm -hmm. and then it grew really long and then I had this like really long like brownish blondish hair because it was like the color faded out so it was still blonde but it was like kind of dirty blonde I guess kind of my natural hair color mm -hmm. but like I it was darker than my natural hair just by a little bit and I mm -hmm. loved it because the bottom like it was like a balayage uh, if like I were a girl with brown hair that mm -hmm. had a balayage that's what it looked like kind of and I was like oh you seem very passionate about it I think you should <laughs> I really think you should I'm so stressed hair's like huge to me because if, if your hair doesn't look good then everything looks bad yeah again I always say you could be wearing a garbage bag but if your hair looks good babe well, that's what I'm saying out. and I'm You're like ready. do I cut it shorter or do I let it grow out like what's the I don't know I think shorter I think so too because it is getting that's the part that I hated growing out my hair is that it was getting to the point where it's because if it was longer bottom. it would look really really good but I do I want to be stuck in an awkward phase for a long and time what I was going to say does your hair grow faster when it's brown because you're not it did maybe that's your sign because obviously you're not bleaching and toning <laughs> bleach and tone mm -hmm. so. this is tough that's what that's what made me go back to my darker hair because it's my hair grows like crazy now. Yeah, since I stopped, I well, because even now often. my hair is like growing pretty like fast. I used to go to the hair salon like every three months. I haven't oh. gone since my birthday in October, and I cut her like up wow. to maybe here. Got shorter bangs like up to my eyebrow. Bangs are gone past my boob. <gasps> yeah, I haven't gone since, but my hair still it's like looks decent enough to not get it done now. Wait, that's crazy. Mm hmm. Hmm. I think it's your sign. I'm stressed. We'll touch on it later. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> I've been currently using Lemmy, like Kourtney Kardashian's brand Lemmy that we love. Yes, I've been taking Lemmy too. You put me I, on. Seriously, like I'm so passionate about this brand. It's not even funny. I have been putting everyone that I know on to Lemmy. And it's working. Our entire like work staff is now like... You need like an affiliate code. Let me. I, I do. <laughs> let me send, please. Like, let me, please. <laughs> let me, please. Let me, please. And let's make more because I have a lot of problems that need like, to let me be fixed. <laughs> <laughs> let <No>. me survive. <laughs> let me not want to kill myself. Thanks. Is that one next? Yeah, come on. Come on, Courtney, babe. <laughs> and if there's one thing about Courtney Kardashian, like, she will always make something like organic. Yeah, I knew it had to be gluten free. Like, it, it had to be. I'm like, I'm like, and I, was I wouldn't a, expect I was GF for I know, years. Yeah. Stomach problems, like, mm -hmm. so hearing that, I'm like, she's having some, mm -hmm. and everything, oh my God, like, I just have the worst stomach problems ever. We know it. Yeah, Gabe always asks me, he's like, why does every girl have, like, she's never, like, he always says girls are never in, like, perfect health. It's true. Truthfully. We're not. No. Hot girls have stomach problems. They do. And worse sometimes. Yeah. Everyone has some problem. Some problem everywhere. I'm never in like one piece. No. If it's not my stomach, it's my head. If it's not my head, it's whatever. Is there like a let me, let me de-migraine? <laughs> not yet. Tylenol X let me. <laughs> <laughs> a little collab? <laughs> I need it. I Seriously. Need, if I had a let me, I think I would do like a... I don't know. Like I think, a, I think like a, let me like, do. Mine would be like really stupid though. You're like let me do math in my head because I can't do let math. Me do math. <laughs> let me be smarter. Let me math. <laughs> let me math. I, really, I need that. Yeah. I failed every math exam so far. It's not 
Just but I'm, I do really good on the grade. homework, so I'm like kind of hoping that that averages out to like maybe like just mm-hmm. one point over failing, so I just don't have to do it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me in school ever, I'm lazy. I'm not gonna lie. This semester, like, I I just want like it to be summer, and I'm not even getting a break in summer because I'm gonna take me more. too. So it's okay. But at least men are all in line this summer. I'm gonna need a let me study next. Yeah, <laughs> let me let study. study. Well, let me focus. Let me focus. She does have that. Does she work? I mean, I actually, I put all my trust in Courtney now. Yeah, no. She's Ky- Kaiki uses Let Me Focus. Yeah. Yeah, he uses it when he works and he says he likes it. I need the Let Me Chill because yeah, bitch needs to chill. I need that too. I need to relax. My mom's been using some Let Me Curb. Mm, I'm doing the, what is it? Let Me Burn. burn. Let I Me Burn. That. Mm-hmm. I like her so far. Yeah. Day one. <clears throat> one, of our, one, of our, <laughs> one of our coworkers is using Let Me Purr. Mm-hmm. Reviews in the works. We don't have it yeah. yet, but I'm using Let Me De Bloat. Mm-hmm. And I actually do see results. Mm-hmm. Like I'm the most bloated person you'll ever meet. Mm-hmm. Like actually ever. I just I can't eat anything without like just being in pain. Like with a reaction. Yeah. And I also <laughs> my bowels don't work. We know that. Mm-hmm. So it's like I'm just always in a state of like help, right. <laughs> like relieve, please. Mm-hmm. And I honestly feel like it helps me a lot. I need it's to like buy. my digestive system isn't working. Mm-hmm. But like she, I, you, you. You can't tell from the outside. Right. Because the let me. She's like, yeah, she's like, let me disguise, basically. <laughs> yeah. That's what it does. But I can like, I can feel my body digesting when I take them. Like, it's kind of just like, mm-hmm. like you can like, you, you can, can hear, hear it. it. Yeah. I, that's actually, I feel like no one talks about that. But when you like can feel and hear your digestion, it's when you don't have any movement whatsoever. You're so like, good. oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, gas. <laughs> gas is coming. <laughs> It's, yes! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> I'm gonna shit! I'm gonna fucking fart! <laughs> I'm so constipated that it excites me. Mm-hmm. When I have a stomach ache, I'm like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Is it about to shit herself? Finally! Oh my god. <laughs> stomach I, issues suck. I haven't taken a real poop in three weeks. Nothing's worse than not being able to poop. And the last one was with a laxative Mm -hmm. because it was like another three weeks. Yeah, that used to be me. I used to never be able to poop. It's bad. Mm -hmm. I went to the doctors about this because everyone's going to be like, why don't you go to the doctor? To get it checked out. They told me I was fine. Mm -hmm. They did an endoscopy, a colonoscopy. They assigned me so many laxatives. Mm -hmm. They were like, you're fine. Didn't you get like washed out? Yeah, I got a colonic where they literally stick a tube up your ass and like Mm -hmm. they pull everything out. I feel like you have to share that. (laughs) Oh my God. Wait, funny story. (laughs) This just in. <laughs> so, oh my god, I'm so pale. It's like actually sickening. I can't look at myself that anymore. Little ray of sunshine that came in really revealed a little bit too much. <laughs> guys, I really you're can't. Look, you're looking so olive toned. It's like kind of making me a little bit embarrassed. You? I mean, me? No, yeah, like you look very like olive toned and like sun kissed right now. No. <laughs> it's giving like Hawaii brand trip or something. It's giving tart? It's giving tart. It's giving tart. Bora Bora. 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 <laughs> I'm giving Alaska or something. <laughs> Snow bunny, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, back to my colonic. Mm-hmm. So I was I was at this point where I was like, I... And like my whole family knows about these problems because like mm-hmm. it's, I'm open about it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, guys, I have not shit in a month. I'm in a lot of pain. I can't breathe. I can't eat. Mm-hmm. Everything hurts. I'm in a constant state of like chronic pain. illness and pain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we look up this thing because I literally... <laughs> At the, the at the dinner table, I was like, I need someone to literally suck it out of me, like because I can't like a do it. Vacuum in my ass. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like come on, like yeah. What's that? What's that? Is that's so hard. That like, what is it? A Roomba that like goes around the house oh God, and yeah, vacuums so like a Roomba for like butt. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Roomba up my ass. Damn. <laughs> so I was like, that's what I need right now. And so we find this woman mm-hmm. who's like not too far. I'm like, oh, awesome. She does it right in her house. Mm-hmm. I go to meet this woman, Angel, like mm-hmm. heaven sent woman. She's yeah. so sweet. She's like, the whole family is away. Like, don't you guys worry. I don't let anybody see my clients. We're just going to mm-hmm. head right downstairs to like her room where right. she does the whole, the whole um, procedure. Yeah. I'm like, just taking a glance around the living room and I happen to see a frame of like her, her children. There's like a couple of them. And I'm like, hmm, that one looks familiar. Her son. Mm-hmm. And the whole time I'm like, oh my God, where do I know this guy? My friend which we were never like not like great friend but my friend that I had known for a few years now I went to her sweet 16 like everything it was her boyfriend's mom so then I'm like holy shit we're we're gonna we're gonna call her Angela I'm like this is Angela's fucking 
like mother-in-law basically they're not together anymore so once again the the mic went out <laughs> episode one two 100 it's it's just gonna go out probably every time we haven't maybe quite figured out our bad life. Maybe like this mic in particular. Yeah, maybe there's some tech whizzes watching us right now that can give us some like input on um, a proper power source. Mm -hmm. This one is connected to the car, and she works like a gem. But this one is connected to a laptop, and turns off every five minutes. We tried to use it in my car, and for some reason, out of the three USB ports, (laughs) none of them want to connect to the mic. So it's really good. So we've converted to my car. Yep. That's where we I are today. A portable charger, you know, because I think it just needs like a battery source. No. Nope. Well, Kaiki said he was getting, um, like, well, he said he might get one of these for like his new mm-hmm. TikTok shop endeavors. Yeah. Anyway, I, actually, I'll, I'll touch base on that. Yeah, I think it's time. <laughs> Kaiki's been doing this new like TikTok shop. <laughs> He's in his influencer era. He really Maybe is. We're like rubbing off on people. No, we are. <laughs> he revamped his whole TikTok. Yeah. And it's like, the, so I go on TikTok the one day. Mm-hmm. And I open it up and I'm like looking at like my notifications, my like messages, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's like things you need. It's like someone who I've been messaging. And I'm Mm -hmm. like, who the hell is that? I click on it and it's like Kaiki's new page. He like remade it the whole thing. It's like items you need, like underscore nine, nine, whatever. And then he like the top like headers like things you need exclamation point exclamation point and so i was like what is this he's like i it's things you need Think, he's like, things you need right yeah. in the name <laughs> i'm like okay and so he's doing where like the creator fund where you can like yeah. earn commission off of like selling things on tiktok mm-hmm. shop so his new favorite thing is tiktok shop he's shopping on there all day long it was facebook marketplace mm-hmm. he's converted to tiktok shop he's on there all day long he's like oh my god this is the most awesome thing i've ever seen ever yeah. do you want it and then we were just getting all these random packages and he's like we gotta, we gotta film and it's really is really fun because we've gotten really cool things everything actually is like good it's not like so funny you mentioned that you know that uh jumpsuit that you showed me yeah my friend actually got it off tiktok shop (gasps) i should have told her return it and buy it again Uh yeah well i had a friend she commented and she was like oh my god i'm gonna buy it right now and he didn't earn commission so we just don't think she did or maybe got it from another liars (laughs) she got it from another source (laughs) i was like fake well anyway he even gave me this air freshener to plug today Mm -hmm. from tiktok shop guys it actually smells divine let me give it a whiff she's like Oh, wait. Wow, that's she's so nice. She's smelling up the car for she sure. Is, mm-hmm. This is in pink sugar. Oh, okay. The other one is like vanilla, vanilla lush or something. Very nice. But he was showing me that one of his new things he wants to get is like that, like the cigarette port charger that like goes <laughs> right there. Just a cigarette. Just one. <laughs> Just a cigarette off the dock but shop. <laughs> like the, like the port. Yeah. And then we can, I wonder if that will work as a power source for us if we have that one there. I was like, wait, we get it. Try, yeah. Because I think that way, then, then this whole thing will function. Right. Because it only works in the front end of the car. Yeah. No really one knows what we're is, talking about. Nothing is working in our favor. That's just <laughs> all they need to know. <laughs> yeah. We're all trying. The, all the tech aside. If we're here, it's miracle. We're just girls. Like, yeah. We're just girls doing girl things. <laughs> we're like women in STEM. I don't know what that means, actually. Um, I just. No, I'm, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm gonna like offend someone if I try to explain that. No. Like, actually, that's not what it is. That's like kind of what I would assume they're like, though. Or they, is it like robotics, yeah. like a little, like a little bit nerdy? I think so. a little sciency, a little bit like they know math. Yeah, okay. they, they can do. They have a lemmy, lemmy math. <laughs> <laughs> they have a lemmy math. And then list. I envy women in STEM. Yeah, me too. Hmm. I can't. Again, babe, still counts with your fingers. <laughs> I really don't. I really don't know what to tell you. I'm never gonna outgrow it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> me too. I, I with the girls that I babysit. By the way, I also do that. But yeah, they ask me for help on their homework, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you got the wrong you got me bitch. There. You got me there. You have the wrong yeah, bitch. Yeah, maybe mom. Mom's an accountant. <laughs> oh, really? Or like an accounting or something. I yeah. just think it's crazy that there's like women that are good at math like that. It's just I, like I'm, I, I envy be, you. I want to be you. Yeah. I really. Because I, I always felt like like growing up, it's like, oh, the girls were always really good at like English and writing mm-hmm. and the guys are always good at like math and science. Yeah. What were you good at? English. English. I think that's the only reason why I perceive it that way. Mm. It's just not true. Everyone's good at different things. But I perceive it as like, oh, well, I was good at English and I'm bad at math. So all girls are. I Because I'm everyone, apparently. I thought I was good at English. Um, I just don't think I'm really good. <laughs> I'm in honors. At any of the above. And it sucks. I know. I, I was running me. a book for a while. Whoa. <laughs> I okay, never author. stopped. Okay, number one bestseller. <laughs> 
<laughs> New York Times bestseller. Wow. Seriously. I, I was actually like, it was honestly a good book for sure. Are you going to release it? No, I never finished it, actually. Maybe, like, an ebook, But I had, I had such a good... And, like, I've never shared anyone, like, how it would end. Because I'm like, someone will steal the idea. Mm-hmm. And then that would motivate me to finish it. Wait, no. Then don't tell me. I don't want to know. Yeah. The, but finish. The, like, idea of it was good, though. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know if you've ever seen, like, Maze Runner, Divergent, Hunger Games. I love them. That era of movies. I, that era of movies. Oh. And, and then add, like, Teen Wolf. Okay. Yes. Oh, I didn't Here's, see Teen Wolf, but okay. it matches the vibe. So I was like in love with Dylan O'Brien, like for oh. my whole like middle school, high school him. crush was like that was yeah he was the it guy, He's hot. you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. it's Dylan O'Brien. So I watched everything that he was in, obviously, mm-hmm. and they just happened to be like some of the best shows and movies I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Not even because he was in it, because they were just so Wait, good. Why are your wipers on? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and she wanted to partake. <laughs> um, <laughs> Anyway, so I was, like, going through this phase of, like, mm-hmm. Dylan O'Brien movies, shows, everything. And, like, mm-hmm. Teen Wolf was literally my favorite show. I loved it so much. And, like, it wasn't even because of him. Mm-hmm. Same with Maze Runner. I was like, this is the best movie series I've ever so, watched in my so life. Good. It's I still one of my favorite ones. I rewatched them. Really? Like, maybe Me and Kaiki rewatched them recently, ago. too, I think. They're so good. So good. That Divergent, Hungry. It's, so like, the, that era... I love dystopian movies. It's so, so good. But I took the idea of like dystopian era, mm-hmm. like fighting type of movies and then mixed it in with like the supernatural aspect of like Teen Wolf and like okay. that kind of like mm-hmm. realm. And it was basically like the same type of idea how like in Divergent, like when they become like 18 or whatever, their mm-hmm. age is like 16, I don't know, where they have to like choose like what category they like want to be in type of thing. Yeah. Mine, it was like when they're 18, they go to this like big center like government facility and they're basically like put into it they're like i guess like transformed into like a certain supernatural like ability oh wait and then they have to go then they have to go into these like training camps and like learn how to like work with the new ability and everything and it's like they can't cross their walls to like see the other supernatural beings and like all that and it's like this girl who's like a badass and she's like basically trying like she meets like i think he was like a werewolf i forget what he was Mm -hmm. but like some other guy from like across the walls because there was like once a month like the walls open and they're like able to interact and they're like kind of like in love i think you should skip the book make a movie and then bring back dystopian movies yeah and they like dig like a tunnel underneath the walls to like see each other (gasps) oh my god yeah and then like the one main guy of like who like runs her camp Uh his parents are like the people like the government of this like which is like kind of like it's like a shitty dystopian system the same way that all these movies are and like his parents are those people Mm -hmm. and like she doesn't know that so she's like kind of in this love triangle with like the the guy at her camp and then this like other guy and this guy like the whole point is like he's gonna like ruin everything oh my god it's like a good it's good actually really good and I wrote like over a hundred pages. Wow. And I just never, and I started it in like seventh grade. Let's So I would have to, I have, I'd have, probably have to restart to be honest, because it's definitely like childish maybe. Not childish actually. No, but the idea is there. Yeah. So. And then it was actually funny because I would write it in my math class. <laughs> and there was like a, like, you know, like how they, some classes would have like an aide. Mm-hmm. So the aide in that class loved me and he would always come over and he'd be like how's and he was an english teacher and he would come over and be like how's the book and like every day when i was writing it really sweet he would encourage me to keep writing it and like he would always tell me like i can't wait to read this book one day like i can't read it you can't let him down and i he's waiting shout out to you mr (laughs) (laughs) what (laughs) that's his name oh my gosh he's an angel oh my god i'm going to cut this out he looks like mr clean oh my god (laughs) I should cut it out. He's a real person. I shouldn't have said his name. I feel like that's flattering. <laughs> like, Mr. Clean's kind of hot. Well, you know, apparently there's like a real Mr. Clean guy, and he's like jacked. Kaiki was showing it to me. He's like, Have you ever seen the real Mr. Clean? <laughs> he's like kind of hot. Would smash Mr. Clean? I would smash. <laughs> Kiss, what is it? Fuck, Mary Kill? Yeah, that's a good game. Mm. We'll talk to Mary Kill segment. <laughs> You let's do one now. Who would you put? Oh God! Well, what's the? Are we talking like well, Mister Cl- Clean? Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Mister um. Clean. Who else? Oh God! I don't know. It's like we a have to bit- think about it. We'll make a list. Yeah, we'll make a what? One day this will be a thing, but it'll be. A- give us comment, people. Comment. We need Fuck the engagement. <laughs> <laughs> tell us. Tell us the input. We need to know these things. I have so much fun with those. 
Me too. They really get you thinking. I'm like, who would I? Actually, you know what? Who would I fuck, marry, kill? Like, I really want to know. How about know? Mr. Clean, Mike Tyson, and Jake Paul? <laughs> kill. <laughs> I don't think I would go that far. <laughs> well, in other news, have we heard about the fight? <laughs> Truly, I've been so bad at keeping up with that stuff because I feel like just someone's always fighting another person. I'm like, what's next? Yeah, well, I don't but care about these fights. I kind of want to fight someone, though. Like, me too. Get us in the ring. Yeah, us, imagine. But I just, like, Mike Tyson is, like, a world champion, like, known, That's renowned, insane. like, yeah. M- like right. I was going to say NBA. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong one. <laughs> like, I don't know. Was he in UFC? I don't know. But he was, like, like he could kill well, someone with his knuckle. Like, with, with his dislocated yeah. thumb, he could yeah. break someone's neck. Like, that's Mike Tyson. Uh, we I saw Mike him in The Tyson? Hangover. Yeah. In The Hangover with his tigers. Like, that's a yeah. badass guy. You know? Yeah. And he's going to fight Jake, Jake Paul. Paul. This guy needs to really put his ego down Viner. a little bit. But. I really don't know who. I was thinking about it. What is a better headline? Because all of this is, like, media. Yeah. It's, like. I'm sure half of these fights could be staged. I've never watched yeah, one. Don't come for my staged. neck. But they have to be staged because it's all like Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. In what world would Jake Paul win? Not this In one. a world where the media is the most important thing to him. What is a better headline? Jake Paul beats world-renowned champion Mike Tyson or Mike Tyson just beats another oh, loser. Yeah, dude, duh. yeah, like obviously Mike Tyson won. What's a better headline? Oh, Jake Paul, Paul. beat Mike Tyson? the hell yeah be like uh, what? so i feel like they're gonna finesse it somehow and like jake mm. paul's gonna win hot take conspiracy just because i think it's like of course mike tyson would win right like, jake paul wouldn't so, it's, so i think he will because of that hmm maybe and also apparently everyone's like oh mike tyson's on his prime doesn't even mike matter tyson could be he 90 and he'll still yeah he doesn't need to net. be in his prime there's years of experience yeah talent. Like, there's no need to be in your prime and so I'm saying he he's also be, he's still jacked. Yeah. He's also he, like a literally a whole foot taller than Jake Ball. Yeah. Again, this man could be like six feet under and he'd probably still <laughs> knock some bitches out. He would like literally come from the grave. Like yeah. <laughs> his spirit just <laughs> knocks you out. Like Yeah. Pop, pop. yeah. Mm-hmm. No. I don't know, it just makes me wonder because I just think that's such an interest like also I do think it's kinda cool that he's fighting Mike Tyson. He's still like Like good for you Jake Paul He's still hip you know Yeah like alright He's up <laughs> Cause he kind of fell off for a while After his like diss track era yeah, Oh yeah What a time That is a time When he was dating Tana Oh my god <laughs> The wedding The wedding The video, the video. <laughs> Oh my god What was really funny is So A YouTuber Two YouTubers that I've been watching Literally forever Since the beginning of mm-hmm. time Sarah Baska and Caitlin Ray Wait Which you probably I love them You watch both of them? Stop You watch I Caitlin? Grew, um, I, I love them both I watched both of them individually And then I saw them get together Me too And I was like wait I love this Stop because I've been Shut watching up. Caitlin Since she like made her first yes, video ever me too We have never talked about this So this is raw reaction Caitlin and Sarah We love you We love you Well I was just watching their video today Where they, they went on a cruise together And like yes. On like a I rave I didn't see the video But I saw that <laughs> day It's hilarious It's so funny I love There's like literal raves Going on in the hallways And oh they're like God. We're just trying to get to the elevator <laughs> Then you get it When she's like I love her intros Does she still do them? I'm about to dive in you know? Yes I think so I, I haven't her. Oh my god I haven't watched One of those in forever though Those are like her old ones But anyway <laughs> Back to Tana and Jake Paul oh, wedding yeah. They went To the wedding And I didn't even watch like the Tana or Jake Paul videos of it, even though I love Tana because I just hated that time for, like for her, for Jake. But they went to the wedding and they were like walking behind Tana down the aisle because they were trying to get to their seats and they're like just in the back of all the clothes. Oh. <laughs> and I think it's so funny. Like the whole video, I was dying. Oh my. You haven't watched their video at the, at, at the Jana wedding? I like it's been yeah I have to watch it's Caitlyn's I think I, I'll rewatch I also stole her intro for the longest time because no. when I made YouTube videos yeah. because hers it would be like the like Caitlyn Ray logo and it yes. would be like dun, 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 ow from like the Justin Timberlake and yeah. I loved it so I did the same thing with my name wait I love it it was inspiration but I just kept getting copyrighted <laughs> they're like not you <laughs> they were like you don't have what it takes no <laughs> that's for sure <laughs> oh my god wait tune in guys Caitlin and Sarah, please watch. Oh, wait, no, I, that's crazy. I'm, this makes sense. Now, yeah, I get it. They, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, my I God. I think I'm falling more and more in love with you. No, seriously. <laughs> seriously, guys. <laughs> love it first. Like, yep. All over again. <laughs> All over again. Every time I see you, it feels like the first time. <laughs> <laughs> you know when, like, you know when couples, when they 
have like an anniversary mm-hmm. and then they post like they're like 10 paragraph long essay as an yeah. instagram caption yeah that's how i feel sometimes with you my next post <laughs> i actually have it pending it's scheduled for me. it's like <laughs> when we first met i didn't think it could get any better than this. and they're usually like the most unstable mm-hmm. couples oh yeah I feel, like I feel like couples that don't post as much together are probably More happier. Different. Yeah, because I feel like they're so secure. Like, why do they need to post? Like, they, yeah. don't have nothing, they don't have anything to prove. Exactly. And I feel like when you post a lot, it's like, okay. <laughs> and you're like, we are really up. in love. <laughs> yeah. I swear he loves me. <laughs> it does make you a little bit skeptical. Yeah. You know? Really, that's scary. Like, relationships yeah. like that. Like, I swear, like, the guy or the girl, whatever it may be, <laughs> is, like, crying for help. Like, behind <laughs> no, all those seriously. pictures. Like, see me. Oh my god, yeah. They like make an account like under like a bot name or something. They're like, uh, they, they like expose everything. <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah. Well, did you see it's coming out about like Amanda Bynes when, which is like a very serious situation, uh-huh. but like how Amanda Bynes like she's way like, back. You heard my she's throat, gargling. Like, <laughs> okay. I hope the mic picks that oh my up. Oh god. Anyway, so Amanda Bynes had, had like a Twitter back in like. I, I, I don't know how long ago, but she, mm-hmm. like, had it under, like, Ashley, like, Burns or something like that. Wait, yes, I think I skipped and, this quickly on my And she was coming out, like, with all of this shit about, like, Dan Schneider and Nickelodeon mm-hmm. and was, like, literally, like, telling everyone exactly what happened to her under this, like, fake alias. But she was, like, the name itself was fake, but she was, like, posting her literal license and being, like, this is me mm-hmm. and this is what I have to say. And it's, like, crazy shit and, like, everyone just overlooked it. And now that everything's coming out, it's, like, now they're... And I was reading some comments, too, that were saying, because I think I saw the same video as you, and then they were saying, oh, like, if she posted that now, like, no one would actually believe her, and then one comment said, yeah, we would, and I'm like, well, she did post it, and you never believed it. That's what's bothering me so much, is everyone's like, oh, like, where's Amanda and all of this? Maybe if you Hello? fucking believed her. And now everyone's ago. like, oh my god, like, justice for Amanda, and I'm like, that's she so deserved fake. justice in 2001. Like, yeah, that's fake. What are we Where talking were you about? Back then? No, seriously. Like, it drives me insane. Mm-hmm. And everyone just you know pointed the finger at her yeah. and thought she was crazy well that's what happens with all of these celebrities like, crazy like people don't get crazy by themselves exactly it's like the same shit that happened to britney spears like when mm-hmm. she started shaving her head and everyone was yeah. like she's manic she's yeah, crazy she's going through it look, are you kidding me what happened if that happened to you i would shave my head yeah mm-hmm. i would go smash windows like i would yeah. do the same exact shit like mm-hmm. but i feel like a lot of these people like she now like amanda Bynes, she's now like a nail tech is she really yeah <gasps> she just like made an account and she's like hey guys like i'm a nail tech now wait I know, like that makes Why me so, so happy wholesome? for her. I know. Yeah, get out of like the toxic. I know she deserves no, it. She deserves better. I watch her TikToks a lot. I feel like she's like, you could tell she still goes through it. Like her, I feel like you can't she's ever. not fully there. But it's like, how could you? That's you know. Yeah, it's never. But it's like she's, she's whole for what she can be. You know. Right. She's trying. She just wants to do nails. There's, yeah, she's really trying. Seriously, to good change. for her. Mm-hmm. Aww. She deserves it. Yeah. That's insane. I did you watch the? I haven't watched Quiet on Set yet. I I've been watching a lot of clips in two days. I want to watch it tonight. Seriously, watch it. It's because really I've been wanting to watch it all week. I just haven't found time to like really sit down and be like, okay, it's crazy. I'm like, and I feel like you always can tell that Nickelodeon had some stuff going on behind the oh scenes. Oh my god! Even when very I was obvious. younger. When I was younger, mm-hmm. I used to think some of it was weird. Yeah, I'm like, which was like oh. very suspicious for like a literal child to think yeah. it was weird because it's like so easy for that to go overlooked. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just think it's like, it's sickening. Seriously, mm-hmm. my whole class the other day, I walk in and they were all like talking about it, mm-hmm. and I like I just had to pitch in. I'm like, oh, a little hair, a little hair. But I just like I hear everyone talking about it in the class, and I was like, oh my god, it's just okay. insane. You have to watch like it. the shit that goes on. It's like, how do you let that? I don't know. But, slide for so long. Like mm-hmm. the same thing is going on right now with like these like family like vlog yes channels exploiting their kids and shit it's like have you seen like ren and her mom i don't know her mom's name jacqueline i think it's this this woman who like makes tiktoks of her daughter and her daughter's adorable like i think she's like three Mm -hmm. and she'll be like oh like what mom puts her in versus like what grandma puts her in and it's like she's literally wearing like crop tops and like booty shorts Mm -hmm. and then it's like what mom put her in and then it goes to grandma it's like the most wholesome like adorable like three-year-old clothing yeah, appropriate and it's like all the comments are always like what the fuck like why are you putting your child in that outfit like what are you doing that for like she's three she doesn't need to be in a crop top i feel like a lot of the clothes nowadays that 
brands are they making. have like cutouts and cutouts, everything cutouts they're so short like why are they making them for scandalous for like a three year old exactly it's gross exactly you know? but it's the same thing like I was seeing at Target like the child's clothes all have like cutouts and they're all like crop tops mm-hmm. and I'm like for what what like, like what three year old needs to be wearing that no around especially in this day and age when everyone's a freaking creep exactly did you see the TikTok where the this woman went to Target and was looking at the bathing suits for kids and they had like all like cutouts on the sides. It was like a one piece with like like sexy cutouts for like for a what? two year old. No. Like how like if we were to no. wear if we were to wear like a sexy one piece. Yeah. How how was how, like the sides are cut out, like that type of idea. Mm-hmm. And it was like cute, like and childish, but it was like why are there cutouts? There's no need. She's three. Yeah. Like Mm-mm. I don't know. It's it just makes much. you think. Makes you think. People it's are... like some of these moms, I feel like, are just like in a cult. A lot of things are very cultish. Like sororities. Sororities. Yeah. I've been, I've been waiting for this one. Yeah. Oof. As community college girls, we don't know. We don't know. We can't speak for sororities. Mm-hmm. But I think that they're fucking crazy. And I think that they are a cult. I'm terrified. <laughs> I see the videos, you know, the ones where like the doors open and they're oh all, like God. singing and, and they're like, like clapping and, like, and doing dances yeah. all in their they're matching like, clothes, nah, nah, nah. doing whatever. And like, they don't blink. I swear. My alpha, alpha doe. Whatever. <laughs> it's like alpha it's, sigma, whatever. Yeah. Like what? And they're like, I swear. I just don't think that like anywhere in Greek culture, this like actually was a thing. Like, I, I feel like if you went to like Mykonos, you wouldn't see this. No, <laughs> there's no <laughs> brought this Mykonos. Here? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, who brought this here? They're scary. And then it's yeah. like, oh, my big, my little. Huh? The fuck? Did you raise them? It's the one like in between like the middle. Like, <laughs> I'm the middle. I'm the middle. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's like, oh, go find, like, find and retrieve your big. And they have to be like blindfolded and like. And they're like, oh my god, it's you! And then they have to go through like rituals and stuff yeah. to like get in and like the well, crazy especially, stuff they do it, Especially of it. frats. Oh my they get god. like hazed. Yeah. Where they get like all sorts of like fucked up and like tased mm-hmm. and shit. And then mm-hmm. it's like, oh, you're be a part of the team. Like, <laughs> and like you're in. You made it after every, like you did. All you're that. at school. Like you're. This is literally school. Let's calm down, babe. How extra can you be? Mm-hmm. Seriously, I just think it's so dumb. Like, I can just go on and on about it. It's scary. Like, they're like weird. That. Like, what? I, I don't think I'd ever be like, you know what? I'm going to join one. Yeah, like, I'm going to do Rush. The f- Bama Rush. Oh. Have God. you seen the TikToks? Of, mm. <laughs> Uh-oh. My, my cousin went to Bama. Oh. And uh, I can admit, slightly cultish. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I think Alabama is one of the worst ones. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. know. She came back a little different. She's normal now. <laughs> But she came back a little different. She, she did come back a little bit okay. different. She I, rushed. Uh, yeah, <laughs> she rushed. And then she continued to rush home. Oh, like, God. Yeah, after. I'm Yikes. surprised they let her escape. <laughs> Actually, there's a few people that um, went to my school that are at Alabama, but I'm not sure if they're in sororities or not. Mm-hmm. They're normal people, so we'll see what happens when they come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, some of my friends are actually in sororities. And, like... I, like, I don't know. Like, they seem like they're living their best life. But it's, like, on my end, it's just, like... I, just I think would never do it. It's just a weird, like, what the hell, man? And the, it's, like, the same people that are, like, oh, I'm not going to do it. That end up doing it are, like, so insanely obsessed mm-hmm. with it. And it's, like, kind of scary. It's, like, why can't we just make friends, like, normally? You know, you talk <laughs> to someone. Oh, hey. What's your name? <laughs> like, I would just love to make friends with someone sitting in my math class and be, like, yeah. do you understand this? Yeah. No? Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. We're, we're, we're cool. Yeah. Be, like, can I, send, can I have your number to send the homework or something? I also, like, like university school just, like, is so weird to me in general because it's, like, a whole different world. It's kind of, yeah. And, like, a roommate, first of all. You're assigned to live with this person. And then, like, most of the time they become, like, everyone's best friend. Like, everyone that I went to school with. They always talk. They never forget the roommate. They're like, oh, me, you either love my or roommate, you my roommate. And it's like, what if you're with, like, a real shit person? Like, I know it's mm-hmm. happened. But it's like, you just have to live with, like, a random ass person. Like, what? Like, there's so many things behind it. Like, what if you, like, are just, like, you want to just change? Like, it's like a public bathroom. Every mm-hmm. time you have to use the bathroom or shower, you have to go into a public one on the floor. And you're paying, like, thousands of dollars. For that. For that. Not even, like, a private bathroom. Like, what if you want to have, like, sex? Yeah, some people... I had a friend, yeah, that she was a roommate with someone else, and then they would come home, like, if they were drunk and just have sex, literally, her sleeping in the bunk bed, like, next... <laughs> it's like, what? It's like, like that's she's not like, living. Yeah, that bunk bed is gonna break one day. She's gonna be, like, half, half but asleep. But it's, like, it's just... Where's, like, the human... Like, it's just... It's so... There's no privacy. It's such a weird concept. I can't wrap my head around it. 
I don't know. I'm scared. I'm so glad that I'm not at a university. Yeah, I don't think I... It scares me. I can't afford higher education, so I'm not hating. It's just that... I just don't understand it. It just seems like a world I would not want to live. Mm-hmm. Like, oh yeah, like let's just get like fucked up seven days a week and like live next to random people we've never met and like use the same shower as everyone every day yep. and be in a cult where they pepper spray your face to let you in <laughs> you have to learn fun song dances and Chance. speak in greek yep. <laughs> that sounds like hell no thank you do they like actually go to school like i've That's never seen saying, anyone like, at university I'm struggling like, at my little county college like how from thursday to, my to monday work. are you partying yeah Again, I'm struggling to do my school work, school work and I'm local. That, exactly. So and how on earth? Don't work. Yeah. What is going on? <laughs> like, why is this so common? I don't understand. They I don't have don't jobs. Know. They're just full-time students and then they party from Thursday to Monday. How? I also don't, like, don't think I have a social battery big enough to no. tolerate people. Never have time to myself. They'd be like, oh, want to go out tonight? I'm no. like, no, I really don't. <laughs> No. I want to go to sleep. No. Like, you want to sleep and then immediately you want to go to bed? No friends. I just couldn't do it. Nope. Mm -mm. Not for me. Thank you. I'll pass. It's weird to me. Double it and pass to the next person. (laughs) (laughs) No, seriously. I don't. It's scary. (laughs) It's like, what do you do once you're out of that, though? That's why I feel like some people can never, like, get out of that. Like, I feel like people who are in sororities and, you know, are all invested in that stuff, they never let it go. Like, they're adults, like, in their 40s. Like, I know. the sorority. Or they're like, it, it's like, I bleed this or whatever. And I'm like, oh, my God. My girl, it's like, it's 20 years ago, babe. <laughs> Please let it go. I'm like, you don't have kids, you know, your life. <laughs> yeah. Can't talk about that. We're still talking about the sorority. <laughs> it's like, wh- get over it. what was so fascinating? I, just, I don't like, know. Or, unless they, like, brainwash you there. Like, they, like, I open your eyes do. and, like, make you watch something. <laughs> well, <I> was, <laughs> and, like, have you pinned down to, like, a chair. Like, watch it. Stop. It's like one of those, um... Oh my god, I forgot what I was going to say, to be honest. I forget what I was going to say. But I just feel like... I feel like it's one of those things where... Have you ever watched the show The Good Place? No. Oh. Well, it's basically like... When you die... It's like heaven and hell, basically. But it's like... Mm -hmm. They they are dead. But Mm -hmm. it's like... So they go... So this girl, she's like, she gets sent to the good place and she's like, why the hell am I here? Like, I was a shitty person, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's like, they walk in, there's like, everyone is so nice to meet her and Mm -hmm. they greet her like, it's like very like freaky though, because everyone has these smiles on their faces and they're like, welcome to the good place. And it's like, it's like just creepy as hell. It seems Mm -hmm. like it's the most magnificent place on earth. Everything is handed to you. Like you get to live your life in peace type of thing. Mm -hmm. Turns out it's actually hell. And that is the bad place the whole time. Spoiler. Um, but that, like, that's how I feel about sororities. Like, it's the good place, but it's actually hell. <laughs> Plot twist. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I yeah. believe it. Mm-mm. What are, like, what do you think they do overseas? Like, at, like, British schools. Do they have that? Or is it, like, only an American thing? No, I think, well, I don't know. But my brain likes to think that yeah. all of that is just here. I think like, it is because over there I feel like it's a lot people that just like to go out more like they're more like yeah at the bars the clubs yeah like that's also more their, their, vibe. their drinking age is like younger 18. yeah yeah which so, is why I feel like they're past that like I don't know why I think it's because their drinking age is so which like old. why the hell is it I don't know it's like like I think every that's why country. everyone's so obsessed to turn 21 and then they turn like <laughs> freaking <laughs> crazy when they are 21 <laughs> but it's like it's just livers like, like in shambles yeah <laughs> it's like I just don't Mm-mm. Yeah, it's like I don't understand. The other thing that drives me crazy is like, what? Like, you, so you could be drafted into war at eighteen, but you can't like book a hotel room, <laughs> or like rent a car. Yeah, twenty five to rent a car. It's insane. Yeah, but you could drive at sixteen, and yeah, have you your gotta own wait car. ten years. <laughs> to you can have your one. own car, but you can't drive anyone else's. Huh? That's insane. Did you see Megan Fox was on Call Her Daddy? She was talking about like the work that she has got done whatever and then she's like oh you know like people keep saying that i got something like like fat loss remover remover or something and she was like she was like i haven't she was like i'm just such a lean person she's like if i were to do anything it would be like putting more fat like in (laughs) more fat in give me a juicier ass and i was like megan fox you're gonna sit here and be like oh i'm too i'm I'm too too frail i'm too skinny (laughs) Mm. it's just like come on man 
I wish we I, know. I wish I could complain about that. She's I'm like, oh, too, I would just, I would I'm just, just like too hot. She's like, I'm just, I'm too skinny to. There's no fat to take out. <laughs> <laughs> I can have so many places where you could take it out from. I wish I had the problem. <laughs> Seriously. I was like, okay, yeah. Megan. Jesus Christ. <laughs> if you want, if you ever want some, I'm your girl. You can pick some from me. Put it onto you. A little exchange. We can mix and match. Yeah. Okay. It's like, oh my God, what were those things where you could like, oh, did I make this up in my head or was it an actual game where you can like recustomize? No, yeah, it was. It was like a, a game, I think, like online or like... It was like Barbie, and you can like switch her outfits, but you could like keep the head and like no. switch the like the the skirt and yeah. She can do that. She can <laughs> she can mix and match. Oh my God. Take my fat. Take it. It's all yours, babe. Like she just didn't have to say that. No. <laughs> be like, oh yeah. There's just she I, just. I'm she jealous. Just didn't have to say that. Yeah. She was flexing on everyone, but there's just not enough fat to take out. Mm-hmm. I'm just so perfect. There's nothing to take. I'm from. just so slim and perfect and yeah. have the best body ever. I'm just, it's just natural. Yep. <laughs> it's like, like, all right. Okay. Now I hate myself even more. Thanks, babe. It was nice thinking that it was fake. <laughs> yeah. It made me feel a little bit better. But yeah. now that you're telling me it's real, now I hate myself even more. I feel like, but I, I feel like celebrities like that don't lie about getting work done. I just, like, I value that though. I appreciate it. Any work that I would get done, I would, I would be the it. first to talk about it. I would, I'm would. i going to tell you that I'm thinking about it. I'm going to vlog it when I do it. And then I'm going to show you after. I'm going to guys, look at this facelift. Yep. And then I'm going to show you when it migrates and tell you not to do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, Seriously. I'm going to bring you with me. Oh, I got Botox poisoning. Yep. In the hospital, part two. <laughs> <laughs> part two. No, but seriously, because I feel like so many, there's so many celebrities that are like, guys, I've never done anything. Yeah. And it's like, your lips are like 10 times the size yeah, of like your face. Yeah, like when she didn't want to say she had her lips done. I'm like, hey. It's like, girl, they were paper thin. Yeah, no. You had small lips. That's like Now me. you're double juiced That's up. That's like me, like one like break room episode. I come up with like boobs, like up to my chin. I'm like, they were just, I just <laughs> had them hide. I just had them tucked they in were, a little bit. They were just sagging. Yeah. Hanging low today. <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's literally like me coming back and like yeah. having double Ds. They'd be like, no. that ain't right. <laughs> that's not correct. <laughs> and then I just go, oh, it's puberty. Babe, you're 23. Yeah. <laughs> You what? know that you know they say that you hit a, a second puberty when in your twenties. It's true. It is. But you could just use that. I'm <laughs> true. I'm going through it. It's really yeah. Weight is like your weight and like the way you look is not the same. Like really? completely went through it all over again. Hmm. I hate it. <laughs> well, don't your like hips get more like That's fertile? I feel and... like I look more like a woman now. Like well, and I always wondered that... how like women look like women because I'm like when I was like. 18 for example I was like I feel like how do I get to that point like they yeah. have like their hips like I don't know they just look different yeah I'm like I don't look like that I look like a child <laughs> even Seriously. though like I'm going through puberty already went through it once and I'm like how do you look like that here I am 23 going through it I'm like oh here it is yeah and honestly don't love the life that's how well that's how I felt too because when I was like like 16 to 18 like mm-hmm. I was just like thin whatever mm-hmm. but there was no curve on me but it like matched my body if mm-hmm. that makes sense I was like yeah like whatever like I was just like lean lean queen whatever <laughs> like no no boobs she was no, Megan Fox she, I was <laughs> me- no she has boobs that's the difference <laughs> <laughs> and she has a nice ass <laughs> that's the difference but I was like I yeah no it was just yeah so mm-hmm. and I liked that version of myself and then like now as I'm like growing more into womanhood i'm like mm-hmm. i kind of want some curve and like i feel like mm-hmm. my hips like already are like kind of getting into that more yeah. like womanly like idea but there's like n- no like other curve so okay. it's just like now i'm like i need to grow an ass because i mm-hmm. need to look i need to look like a grown woman and it, not like a 12 year old little boy <laughs> it happened to me when i was i think i'm i feel like i'm still going through mine yeah but i think i'm going I started when I was like 22, actually. Mm. Like right when I was 22, then it started changing. Yeah. I feel like everyone says it kind of happens around like 22, 23. Yeah. And then I'm like waiting because my mom, I was telling her about this the other day and I was like, yeah, she was telling me that she didn't stop going through like her woman puberty, I guess. Yeah. Until she was 25. And she's like, I actually didn't get boobs until I was 25. I'm like, there's more. There's going to be more. Yeah. Thank God. Well, my mom said the same thing because... She always had really, really small boobs, too. Mm-hmm. Like, if you look back at pictures of her in high school, she was so petite. Mm-hmm. She was so small. And, like, now she has boobs. Yeah, and my mom has... She's got some. She's got some. Oh, where am I? <laughs> She's what got a I rack. Mean? Yeah. She, okay, and I'm like, Yeah, where but am I'm I? like, okay, does this come with, like, having babies? Or like, is what this is it? just, like, a natural phenomenon? Mm-hmm. But I kind of like, because, like, I know with, like, when you're pregnant and stuff, you know, your boobs, like, 
they are not going to look the same after just no. woman it's womanhood but like it's kind of nice if they're smaller you know they won't be to that extreme i guess yeah but people with like naturally big boobs i guess it's a hard life too like it's not easy no matter yeah. what size like your back hurts oh my god can't find a bra can't find a shirt that fits i cannot imagine i had one Seriously. friend growing up um lover to death no bad blood but she had boobs like i think i saw her before like her boobs before i saw her yeah like biggest boob, boobs i think i've ever seen in my life and then but she would always tell me she's like they hurt i'm in pain i can't yeah. like work out i can't find clothes that fit or like she'd always have to get shirts like so much bigger than what she is and she's like i feel like i don't even know what my body looks like because yeah. the boobs are just everywhere yeah and i feel bad i'm like it sucks yeah because there's a difference in having like a nice size boob and them being too big that you're like literally in pain yeah there was there was a girl that i knew growing up who she also had really really big boobs and she mm -hmm. was on the cheer team and was like an incredible tumbler like could mm -hmm. do like backflips on backflips like was insanely good but she had to wear like three sports bras she ended up getting a breast reduction because her back was in so much pain and like she was al always in pain and it's like that just sucks like yeah. i just and they, like i complain about my itty bitties but yeah but honestly i can run with no bra on yeah <laughs> i'm good yeah i can spend a lot of my times braless and i'm okay me too can't get clocked yeah like i just i think like maybe like a b cup would be like good at least i can like push them mm -hmm. up in, in some outfits mine's yeah like, I feel like I'm fuller on the bottom more than on the top. And I'm yeah. thinking maybe in my puberty that I'm in now, I it'll I, be fuller on the I top. I agree. I am a little bit more. Like, I'm very... Like, or, like, to the side a little bit. Yeah. Side bottom for me. That's yeah. Where I fall. <laughs> they just, like, they just, like, <laughs> migrate. <laughs> I'm waiting for them to... Boop. Yeah. Then I'll be One happy. day. Yeah. I get, like, boob tape and everything, and they, they just don't perk. Mm. That's all I want is for them to perk. Yeah. But my TikTok shop bodysuit... I have cleavage in that bitch. Oh my gosh. Not to plug. Like, I'm not even trying to plug. Yes. <laughs> that thing does me justice. I was going to mm -hmm. wear it today, but it was way too cold. Mm. But I literally can have, like, they're, like, up there. Right. There's, like, there's, like, like crease. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Like, mine There's shadow. Mine, <laughs> mine are, I feel like, are in between. Like, I'm, like, a, yeah. I'm a C. Okay. So, they're, like, in between. So, they're, like, they're, you can work with them. I can work. I can, I feel like it's, like, that good size where, like, yeah. I'm not saying I have honkers or anything. I really don't. Again, I'm saying I'm bottom heavy, not top heavy on, yeah. on the boob area. But, like, I can get away with, like, if I wear something, like, oh, our boobs kind of look cute. Yeah. You know? Like, I wish. It, I don't know, but I don't flaunt it, though. I kind of just, like, I feel like I'm very, not modest, but, like, mm -hmm. I don't show off. A little bit but Mormon. But I love to, sh um, <laughs> slightly Mormon. Um, no, but I feel like once, because I like to hide it for when I dress nice. So once I actually yeah. look good, it's like, oh. Oh, where, damn. Where'd that come from? She got a rack. Like, I like to keep the people guessing, you know? Yeah. That's my style. I, don't know. I so I used to have C's. Like, mm -hmm. they were, they were definitely a little bit bigger. Yeah. But I was a little bit chunkier. Mm -hmm. So then when I lost weight they were the first to go mm. and then ever since gained weight lost weight they just don't fluctuate mm -hmm. they they stay there i know even with my mom she thought she because my mom lost a little bit of weight and then she's like i thought when i was going to lose weight i was going to lose some boob yeah that's why she did it she didn't lose any boob i'm like okay fuck you <laughs> that's ridiculous yeah i'm like that's a little bit disrespectful in my opinion <laughs> yeah i think that like because i have like a very average mm -hmm. like body type i feel like it's standard it's not too skinny it's not like chubby by any means i just mm -hmm. i feel like it's like a healthy weight mm -hmm. and i think that sometimes i appear like bigger than i actually am because my boobs are so small that it's like it's all focused on the torso i feel like if my boobs were slightly bigger it, it would, I, would, I would be like giving a... like body mm -hmm. like i would be kylie jenner they'd be like damn <laughs> What's that like song that people keep creating of her? Like recreating? I mean that dance when she's on. Oh my TikTok. god! It's like stop. and her mouth is just open the whole time. Like, she's like, <laughs> <laughs> she's so pretty too. Like, she like you, makes it look okay. Can you like imagine like literally just not even doing anything, just like a little, and, and just like kind like, of spasming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then like getting like going viral for that. It's my sign to have brown hair, maybe. Yeah. Are you Kylie? Not yet. Maybe with our hair, yeah. Yeah. You know, Cindy Sweeney also just cut a bob. Did she really? Yeah. It looks really cute, too. And I'm like, oh, maybe I should keep the blonde. <laughs> I don't have her boobs, though. I think you need to have just if I had, on one person. <laughs> if I had boobs, I think I'd be Cindy Sweeney, maybe. <laughs> I go 
go through a new phase every week. <laughs> yeah, I, I think be last Sydney episode Sydney. was Sabrina Carpenter. It's always Sabrina Carpenter. <laughs> I was just about to say, I'm not giving up on okay. my girl. <laughs> okay. She is my inspiration, mm-hmm. but like... Even she just looks so good all the time. She does. She really does. I feel like everything looks good with her boobs. Yeah. <laughs> Getting like... What are they doing that I'm not? Being famous. Yeah. They have like a glam team that like... I need a glam team. Like, can, Is I able can just, to enhance things that we cannot. I can just picture how hot oh my God. we would be if we had a glam team. If like, we were on a red carpet just one time, the ooh. potential we had... Oof. We would have so much potential with a glam yeah. team. Mm-hmm. Like makeup by Mario. I'm in the wow. chair. Yeah. <laughs> I would channel like him. I'm sat. I'm com- oh. <laughs> Seriously. Mm-hmm. Come on. Like, I need that. I just need to be glammed one time. Like, provide the dress. I want to, like, sit in a room with, like, a glam team where they tell me, like, this will look good on you. Put this on. We'll tailor it to your body. Mm-hmm. Like, I just want to be in that room. Yeah. Like, I want Louis Vuitton to be like, mm. No, trim the bottom. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like, I want that. I want yeah. you to be like, no, you're not giving. Fix mm-hmm. it. And then I, I want... Need, I need guidance. Yeah. <laughs> and really then I want do. a makeup artist to do me up. Uh-huh. I need a hairstylist to tell me whatever the fuck this I just is. Need to, I just need to be fixed, okay? <laughs> and I need someone to tell me how to do it because I'm lost. Then I need to go to the glam bot. Yes. And do a little. Oh my gosh. I love the glam bots. <laughs> me too. But I love it when people <laughs> people can't find the camera. Like, why? I can <laughs> only imagine... Are, like, <laughs> I can only imagine that this camera is huge. Like but it's, it's not like it's, a little camera. It's two seconds too. I'd be lost. I'd be like, <laughs> I don't know. But it's just like, I feel like you have to have a slightly a better. It's so big. How can you miss it? Like in my mind, <laughs> in my mind, I would miss it. <laughs> I just know because it's so fast that I'm like, I just know the whole time I'd be like, I'd be giving Kylie in that video. <laughs> I would be trying to like pose, but I would be too focused on getting into the pose mm-hmm. that I'd forget how fast it is. And it, I would just be like, <laughs> do you know the one of the first one that Joey King has where she's like, I, yeah, wait, fuck, my <laughs> you can't do it. <laughs> you can't give Joey King. Nope. But I think that was on brand for her. She was just being silly and goofy. Yeah. That she's was like, her doing her thing. She's like, <laughs> I want to do a glam bot so bad. Me too. I've been seeing videos of people doing like their own glam bots. That's, like, I want to do that. We should Let's do, it. do it. I, I wanted to say I wanted to do it with it's you. Very it's very on brand with so us. <laughs> I feel like we have to. But what do we have? To, we don't have anything to get ready for. No. <laughs> we can do it. Can in it be PJs. a birthday again? <laughs> yeah. We should just throw throw one for fun. Just because. Birthday after the birthday. <laughs> I just do it on the ninth of every month. <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday every month. Yeah. It's my um. 11 months till my birthday. <laughs> 10 months. Maybe, maybe my half birthday. Half birthday? Okay. Then we can celebrate. Okay. I feel like we touched on a lot. I feel like we did. I feel like today was fun. It was a good one. We had some good chats. Yeah, because also my confidence like went up. It my, did. Now I'm like myself. It did for sure. Yeah, I get nervous every time. I'm like a little shy girl. Like, you talked oh, a lot today. Oh, yeah. I felt like the last episode, I, I felt like I didn't want to keep cutting you off, but I was uh-huh. trying to like create the conversation no, because yeah. you were feeling a little shy. Yeah. But now I know. Yeah. That's why I need you. Because I wasn't being rude and cutting her pot. off the last <laughs> You're the pee to my pot. Oh my God. Yeah, you're the peanut butter to my jelly. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to think of a combination. I can't. <laughs> you're the milk to my coffee. <laughs> oh my God. Oat milk? Yeah. <laughs> Almond milk? Nothing what, is, milk. what is your like classic coffee order though, actually? My go-to? Yeah. I don't get this often because sometimes people don't make it right and I don't like it and that sounds like such a snobby thing they don't make your it right you're go-to but you don't get it often I, yeah but so, I would like, what if you... it was made right okay okay but I love a cappuccino oh I love like I in, love in a mug in a okay mug. I know I so like, dine in only yes okay cappuccino any day I'll take it I love it regular milk because I like the sweetness of the milk makes sense with the coffee and the ratio is like perfect yeah but I know like some people put like too much air in a cappuccino like I don't like it yeah like I like not too much but barista history yep yeah. but or if anything i'll get a vanilla matcha mm. iced or hot but i'm more of a hot person but i've been I'm venturing iced. out into the ice world it's i'm kind of always fun iced it's kind of fun when i when i quit my last job where i worked in a coffee shop i was having a really bad crisis because i was like where the hell am i gonna get coffee mm-hmm. every day for free i still don't know I'm still yeah. I'm craving that coffee that well, I Well, I make have. my own coffee good now. My my own iced coffee I make at home. Mm-hmm. But for a long time, I was only drinking hot because I was like, I don't 
mm-hmm. I, I can't do it. Mm-hmm. And now I just make my own iced coffee. Yeah. I, I brew it. I, I just mastered sit. like my own matcha at home. Mm. I want a matcha kick. I have Chamberlain matcha, Chamberlain coffee matcha. Is home. it good? Really good. Mm. I put a little vanilla and also cinnamon. Yeah. Oh my god. Really good. Vanilla cinnamon is really good. Just in a regular it latte. It is. It's been a while for me. I need mm-hmm. to get back in my matcha phase. Matcha's oh my favorite. I've been trying to cut down on coffee as I drink a coffee mm-hmm. in this episode, but <laughs> <laughs> that's our brand. It's my first one, and it's like seven o'clock at night. So it's yeah, okay. it is. Seven and it's a small. Night. What it's a, a small. day! I know it's been an adventure, but yeah. Maybe next episode we'll have matcha. I I had matcha in the first one. Yeah, right? you did. Join me. Maybe we'll switch it up a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. I've never oh, ordered matcha. matcha at a place. Then we have to go to. Yeah. Yeah. Disclosed. Our okay. camera's gonna die. Yeah. Fuck. All right, All right guys. That was the Break Room Podcast, episode two. Episode two, baby. Thank you for tuning in. Tune in next week. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. (laughs) No one loses another finger. Or maybe it does, because we'll have good content. True, and then we'll post pictures. (laughs) Yeah, you'll see it. So, for your enjoyment. (laughs) But it's okay, we'll suffer for you. Yeah. We'll see you guys next week. I'll wait, but I can't. So, (laughs) bye, guys. Bye. Shawty came from Mexico, she know she got the sweet stuff. Shawty came from Mexico. She-